What is going on YouTube? Hit him back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we'll be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as QDM to BTC. We will also be looking at the current coin market cap, price analysis, market analysis, as well as the current coin light coin having coming up in five days. If any of that sounds interesting to you guys, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, and let's jump right into today's video. So guys, as you know, the current Litecoin halving is coming up in approximately five days. I think if not four days, August 5th uh, is when the, 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 the block reward halves. So basically we go from 25 Litecoins per block reward to 12 and a half, I believe, 12, 24, 25. So yeah, and what can that potentially do? Tons of rumors flying around the market right now. A lot of different sentiment going around. A lot of people are saying that uh, we're going to see the crypto Litecoin shoot up in price leading to the halving, then potentially falling, you know, by the rumor, sell the news after the Litecoin halving happens. We also have another side where people are seeing the market dip, which is what's actually happening. And then we are going to see a pop right after the market. Some people think nothing is going to happen. Well, I'd like to share with you my opinion on the Litecoin having how that's going to potentially affect the market as we continue on into these five days and potentially see some crazy stuff. Maybe nothing happens. Maybe some stuff will happen. Who knows? But uh, we're going to jump right into today's episode. Look at some stuff. Uh, so right now, as you can see, we are on the current coin market cap. Market cap's 274 billion. 24 hour volume is 51.9. Bitcoin dominance a 65.2. So the markets are slowly climbing back up. This is um, something that hopefully you guys are noticing. 24 hour volume isn't really moving, you know, honestly, out of everything, nothing's really moving at all. Market cap is slowly creeping back up in terms of its size. You can see out of the top 10 cryptocurrencies, we have a definitely a scattered market right now. Everything's, you know, a miss. Everything's either in green or in red. There's really no stagnant one sort of uh, color. We can see only four out of the 10 cryptos, blue chip, big cryptocurrencies are, are moving up. Um, you can see out of those 10, only four are moving up. So you can see out of the rest, the six are down, Ethereum. XRP, we have Bitcoin Cash, Tether, uh, Bitcoin SV Stellar. They're all down, but really not down by much. I'd say average 2%, maybe a little less. The coins that are up, again, are not really up by much. Litecoin taking the biggest leap out of today, up 3.2%, about to retest $100, which is huge it's awesome for us to see that finally um you can see what happened we thought we saw a major dip in the price a couple of days ago and now we're slowly consolidating back up to the upside where we previously were some coins like litecoin are above where it fell so that's obviously a beautiful thing but for the most part all the coins are kind of just in some sort of consolidation phase once again not really seeing much movement at all Everything pretty much just consolidating out as we move towards, you know, potentially bigger waves of volume that slowly come back into the market. So now to move on to Litecoin, what exactly is happening with Litecoin? What are we seeing? What are we going to expect? But we, you know, so I do want to jump into this Litecoin on its daily. This is US dollar Litecoin on its daily chart to Coinbase. One amazing thing we do happen to see is we did break bullish from this descending wedge that we had for the past couple of weeks, you know, if not a month. So from June 22nd till now, June, we had all of July into August, we had this major bear market that kind of was, it kind of had the coin by its throat and it was not letting it, you know, move to higher levels. We did have a bottom support here, which you can see had three confirmations, but for the most part, the top resistance is where all the resistance was. One, two, three, four, five, almost six confirmations of resistance here, six retests. What we finally did was we traded out of this, which is beautiful, it's what we needed, and we did see some volume. We shot up quite a bit. We saw a little bit of volume, but more than what we've seen previously. And we are now retesting our high luminal moving average. The unfortunate part is we recently just saw a death cross on Litecoin, which is when the red band crosses over the green, indicating bearish markets, which is pretty much what we've been having. We haven't seen these two cross in quite some time now so interesting enough we did see that right now we are now retesting that level and unfortunately what I've noticed is when we do break below the high low MMA it acts more as a resistance than it does a support so we are seeing that act out right now we're seeing um, resistance happen right now you'll notice that we do have plenty of movement we do have plenty of potential to move to higher levels trading off at 47 
a little lower. Yeah, for around 48 to 47 on the relative strength indicator. This does give us some clearance to move up to much higher levels. We could easily see $130 on Litecoin within the next week or two, uh, given that we do stay below the RSI. So, I mean, we don't, you know, jump into the overbought level. So with this potential, until we hit overbought, we could see movements back up into 125 region. That's all this clearance right here which you can see up to there and it doesn't seem unlikely to be honest with you we just need some more confirmation we need to be able to break above this high low minimum moving average right here and i do think it is going to happen now this light coin having is coming up and we do want to know what exactly is going to happen with that coin when it does decide to you know reach that so we're already seeing a nice trend now you know we do if you think about it like this we have a week now or a little less than a week moving to this halving we pretty much got this downtrend out of the way. You know, it seems like we did find a bottom on uh, Litecoin's, you know, bearish market, bear market. We did seem to find a bottom and we're starting to move back out of that, you know. So with that being said, last time we were at prices like this was all the way back uh, like July 22nd, which was about a week, a little over a week ago. So nice to see we're finally getting back up to those levels. And, you know, with that, if we can break this and confirm the break above that, we could easily see more volume move into the market and this having could inevitably influence it in a positive light great moves you know 77 dollars all the way up to 100 about 22 dollars and change of profit if bought this low uh, another great signal was the fact that we were oversold uh, but I'm really waiting for confirmations above here right now, this high limit of moving average. If we see confirmations above there, I'll be buying back into here. What that means now is we do have to look at the other altcoins, see how exactly this is getting affected. You'll notice very obviously what's going on with Bitcoin. Um, I don't really have to explain much with this coin. Uh, we are trading at around 49 on the relative strength indicator, which is beautiful right there. Bam, 49. And you can see we do have this uptrend right here where we've been climbing for quite a while now. We did overextend. We did go quite a bit away from that and you'll notice what happened is exactly what I said was going to happen is we were going to end up getting sandwiched between this high low and moving average on Bitcoin's daily and the resistance of this uptrend right here I had a feeling that if we were unfortunately going to break through this uptrend it was going to start to act as more of our enemy than our best friend and you can see that's exactly what's happening we're facing this we're trying to break through and once again we uh, had too much downwards pressure we broke bearish from that I do think though that there is potential that in the longer term you know, we can most definitely break back into it. And I think that's what's going to happen. This is a, just a very small hiccup. So there is possibility that we could break back in, see easily another retest and head back up. So I can almost guarantee you that if we see any sort of confirmation back into here, we can close the candle. We will most definitely be seeing a 12000 almost $13,000 Bitcoin by the end of or mid of September. So I don't I wouldn't be too worried right now. Uh, I think it's a great opportunity to buy. I really do. Uh, whether it's Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, I think they're all in a great standpoint right now. Any of the other altcoins. Um, but I do think we're going to be heading up. Now, I cannot tell you uh, to be buying cryptocurrency. I can only tell you that I'm buying crypto. I'm no financial advisor. But I mean, I think the markets look great right now. We just had a huge tumble, a huge tumble. And it's pretty much shown us where the bottom is. And we're just ever so slightly moving a little bit up right now. So with that, it pretty much confirmed to us that this confirmation of the bear market is over. And now we can finally see some higher prices in the next upcoming weeks. So that's why I think these are great opportunities to buy. I think the market is way too drained of you know, falling and low volume. And I think it's time now we're going to start to see plays bringing us to higher levels. Uh, I think the bearish market, the downtrend is over. And I do think, you know, truthfully that we are going to start to see some higher prices. And I do think in the next August, we have September, maybe month and a half, we will see a 13, you know, 12, 8, 12, 5, a 12,500 dollar Litecoin. That's a conservative approach. But I really do think that that is what is, you know, in the market for, you know, Bitcoin. Ethereum, um, very interesting too. I do think it's just going to continue to sideways trade. Honestly, like that's what it looks like it wants to do until it catches up to this beautiful purple uptrend right here. Much more stable than this one. You can see this close. It's, you know, uptrend right here. We did have an ascending triangle. It did break bearish from that. So you can see that's why we tumbled lower. Ascending triangles usually break bearish. Um, but with this major fall, you can see we got caught in this channel right here. And I do think it's going to slowly be you know, supported up to higher levels uh, in the next upcoming weeks, similar to Bitcoin. Qtum, 
to wrap up today's episode, uh, similar to Ethereum, both Ethereum and Qtum, I believe, need consolidation. I think they need sideways trading, uh, mainly because they are stuck here. You know, very good on the RSI, uh, but for the most part, they're stuck at bottom support, and they do need to consolidate further. Qtum more so than big, uh, Ethereum because it does have this end point right here. This is like end game. So we're really going to wait and see what exactly happens to this point. We could see a pretty big pull to the upside with Qtum. If you guys have Qtum, by the way, uh, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to know uh, if you do or if you don't. Uh, but that's going to sum up today's episode, guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.